My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today we will introduce a new feature from Solaris 1.6 that will make your life much easier. And this is about contour generation, also known as uh, auto tiles in other software. So what is this about? Uh, what we call contours in Solaris is um, all these small tiles that you have in a lot of situations actually so here around uh, a, a patch of of grass um, but um, yeah there are, there are a lot of situations like water holes even walls in uh, dungeons um, cobblestone path uh, sand this is a uh, very common situation where you have uh, some some tiles for uh, anything and and you need to generate you need to, to create some a, a lot of detailed tiles to to make the the border of your region and it's it takes a lot of time and it's it's quite boring and repeti repetitive and this is especially uh, long when when you want to create a nice map, right? Because especially with um, outdoors maps, usually you don't want to create um, a very straight and boring and rectangular shape uh, because it not only it does not look natural, but it's also boring for the, for the player. So. Usually you you will try to make a lot of small details to make your maps look look nice and interesting for the player. So it will take even more time to to create all of these these small contours. Let's try to do it by hand. And I'm sure you you did that before uh, with this tie set or, or any tie set. As as I said, it it happens. Uh, in a lot of situations, but the technique is pretty much always the same. You can notice that usually there are tiles for um, every edge. So the four edges are here, not this one. And you have the four corners, and you also have the reverse corners, the concave corners. So that's a total of 12 patterns. And it always it pretty much always works like like this. You if you make some water, some holes with this tile set or another tile set. Most of the time it will come down to to these uh 12 patterns. Okay. I'm not completely done yet. Okay, like this. As you can see, it takes a lot of time. Okay. And I think we are done. So now I will just undo everything that I just did. And I will show you how to generate these contours automatically. So the idea in Solaris is that you can um, select some dyes, uh, some regions, yeah, and go to this tab here, contour generator. You choose the contour patterns that you want. So here it will be grass, yellow light edges. In this example, and you just click this button, generate tiles, or you can press Control B. This is the keyboard shortcut, Control B to generate contour tiles. And the idea is that it will just detect the border of your the contour of your selection and place some tiles. So Control B, or just click here, and there we there we are. We have the the nice borders here. Um, 
and there is nothing special happening after that. Uh, these are just regular tiles. They are not, not uh, linked in any way to whatever we selected before. So really, what we selected before was just uh, used uh, as the the shape where to to generate contour from. But then this button just created some regular ties. And uh, if you want to to change anything in your region, then you have you are back to <laughs> generate things, place your ties uh, by hand. Something like that, or or you you can just undo and make some change, and then do it again. Um, and then you can adjust whatever you don't like about what was generated. For example, here I, I just removed the tiles that uh, would have been outside the map region. Um, Okay, so that was the first simple example of uh, contour generation or border generation, as you prefer. Um, okay, now I want, yeah, so something to notice is that this first example of contour wa was using all, um, yeah, it was using only 8x8 eight eight pixels uh, patterns, but there is no uh, limitation here. Uh, you can have any size you want for your contours. For example, this one is a bit more interesting. Uh, there are four corners that are 8x8. Eight eight. Reverse corners are 16x16. 16 16, and uh, the edges are either 16x8 or 8x16. So it's much more complicated. But it still it still works. It's still possible. Um, and here you have another example, uh, a bit similar to this one. So let's create a small path here, uh, probably like that. Okay. So again, I'm selecting these two tiles, and I want to create some contours. So I have to select the correct contour here in the list because obviously if I generate tiles here, uh, that's not the ones I want. So I want dirt, one of these, um, but this one would be nice. Okay, good. And then let's remove uh, what we don't want, especially these ones here. Okay, and we have a nice, nice little path uh, cool. So something to notice about these contours here, since they have uh, a base size of uh, 16 pixels uh, in some directions, it means that your initial selection should be compatible with uh, whatever is the size of your uh, contour tiles. For example, here, uh, these edge here is precisely 16 pixels, so it will work. But if my tiles were shaped like that, it would not be compatible because of the constraints of, of the size constraints of these particular contours. So here, if you try, uh, here it, it doesn't look nice uh, because there is no way to correctly play, place this tile. It is designed for uh, yeah, for edges that are uh, multiple of 16 pixels. So here it works. Okay. So in this outdoor style set, you have a lot of contours for uh, cobblestone, st sand, water. You can you can try them. It's really nice to use. Um, let's switch to an example in an indoor map because actually contours uh, will also help you create rooms in dungeons. So here I just copy pasted the floor 
of my room that I deleted just to be sure that I have the correct size and walls of a room can also be seen as contours and you have them all in this style set here so in this particular example of map this one is wall 6 so I just select my floor here and generate tiles very nice, very easy um, you can generate multiple rooms in only one operation and more interestingly you can also uh, very easily create some rooms that uh, have less regular shapes and I think these ones are much more interesting to play for example like that you can see in, a, in just a few seconds how easy it is to, to create a complicated room and if you don't like it you can easily try something else you can also say, um, generate both rooms at the same time uh, so that's really really cool again take care of of the size of your patterns uh, these particular walls are so the corners are 32 by 32 in both the normal corner and the reverse corner and the edges are um, 16 by 32 so if you if you do some it's it, I mean it's easy to do something impossible um, for example like that it will not work I'm pretty sure there is not enough space here to generate the correct the correct patterns this one should be on top of this one but this one should be on top of this one for example so it's just not possible with this particular tie set to to have this uh, exact configuration or maybe it's possible if you trick like that i don't know <laughs> my point is that uh again you you need to you need your initial section to be compatible with the size of your uh, contours um, okay something else uh, to know is that um, some contours don't have all 12 uh, base tiles for example if you do a carpet here so this this carpet is designed like this with uh, the four edges the four corners but there are no patterns for the um, reverse corners so if you generate them it will work as long as your carpet is perfectly rectangular like most carpets probably but if you try something uh, like that, you will have a problem here because the the pattern for for the concave corner does not exist. So maybe you can uh, make up something like this. Like this. Uh, but yeah, my point is that contours don't necessarily always have all 12 uh, tiles okay and finally I want to explain how to create your own contour here let's say you have your own tile set and some patterns would uh, really benefit for from this contour generation feature um, I have an example here here of another tie set, the Zoria tie set, which is a very nice 8-bit uh, tie set uh, that we have in, in the free resource pack. And it turns, turns out that it was created before the uh, contour feature existed in Solaris. So at, at, at the time I'm recording this video, there are no contours available in this tie set. Uh, so let's take this opportunity to actually create one. For example, this uh, simple 
Rasta is here. We we want to create contours. So let's say we have that and we would like to generate ties around them instead of uh, creating them, them uh, manually. Okay. Um, so how do you do that? Uh, in the tileset editor, you can... So you have the main tab here, the first tab with all patterns and a second tab with the contours. So you can create a new contour by clicking this plus icon here. You uh, should give them a name. So this is, let, let's call it, let's call it grass simply. Um, maybe it's more a bush than a grass actually. <laughs> I'm not very familiar with this tile set. Yeah, it's grass, okay. Reversible grass, grass. So perfect. And then you need to drag and drop the pattern that corresponds to every edge and corner. So this is the right side of your contour. This is the top side, left, down. If you are not sure, you can use the tooltip here. For example, it says left side, top right corner, convex, and top right corner, concave. So this one is an example where, again, like the carpet earlier, has no uh, oops, concave corners, no um, reverse corners. So I just leave them empty, and everything will be fine as long as I don't try to generate um, contours from a shape that would not have um sorry i just switch is to force it to reload because there is a small glitch um yeah if i generate ties it works and if there is any concave corner in my initial shape here um so it like for the carpet it will still generate something but probably something wrong uh, just check what you have and depending on your on your ties uh, maybe you will be fine by just doing something like that it really depends on on your ties um okay so i guess that's all i wanted to uh teach you about contour generation i hope it will be very useful and it will save you some time and make your life easier. Uh, feel free to join our Discord to ask for help and to help others. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.